week on Small Boat Big Ocean TV, we're pot hopping for Mahi off the coast of New Jersey. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. everybody welcome back to small boat big ocean tv this week we're going to be putting the howie t in at deep creek cove marina and then heading out of manasquan inlet in search of mahi on the pots in this episode i'm joined by my friend pat lowry from youtube channel fishing with pat pat and i made about a 25 mile run east out of manasquan to an area known as the mud hole once you reach the area we started seeing some flags indicating some lobster pots. Pat went ahead and started cutting up the chunk bait. As we inched our way towards the first pot, we were marking to see which way the line actually went. And from there we had to decide which way the curtain was moving us so we knew which way to approach the pot and ultimately start chucking some bait to see if we could pull some mahi out from under it. So with, we reached the first pot, Pat was out in front of the boat throwing the bait and we came in from uh, the opposite current so we could see which way the bait was drifting. And once Pat was satisfied that there were no fish on the actual pot, we decided to move on and look for the next one. And this is exactly why they call it pot hopping. You could get to your first one like we did here and not have any fish underneath it. And you could get to the very next one and it'd be loaded with fish. So we were able to sneak up on the second pot in that line of pots. And we're actually, when we threw some chunks at it, we could see some fish dart out from under it. When you're preparing to do this type of fishing, this pot hopping, you need to have multiple types of bait with you. On this day, we had live killifish, we had cut bunker, we had fresh peanut bunker, we had mackerel fillets, we had squid, and we had a cut mullet. Pat and I started out using opposite baits. He went with live killies, I went with bunker chunks, and we weren't really having much luck. Fish would come up and show some interest, but they wouldn't hit it. And this is kind of typical when you get into this time of the year with mahi fishing, you're gonna have some fish that are gonna show interest on the first couple tosses of bait. And then after that, they almost become bait shy. We had 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and the leader lengths were about four feet. So it wasn't anything as far as that goes that we think they were shying away from it, just they were being picky. Eventually, after not having much luck with the killifish or the mullet chunks, we decided to maybe throw some jigs from a distance and see if the boat was spooking them. After throwing an epoxy jig from a distance, I did get a hit and a momentary hookup, but it eventually spit. So we realized that the fish were hungry. We just had to figure out what exactly they were hungry for. There we go. Oh! Hit the whole bunker. When we switched over to the peanut bunker, 
That seemed to turn them on, and Pat ended up hooking her first fish on a cut bunker. Got one. You got a bunker chunk on? Took you off the minnow and over the bunker chunk. Yes! As we continued to drift by this pot, what we found out was first several casts with one particular bait would work, and then the fish would shy away from it. So then we'd have to switch bait type in order to entice another hit. Just to go over a little bit of the rigging that we're using, again to reiterate we're using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and a number two circle hook and we're using a number two so we can hide the hook uh, as much as possible inside the bunker chunks or the squid. Should get fired up now. For those of you who have done some pot hopping in the mud hole or monster ledge area off New Jersey, you realize just how finicky these fish can become over the course of the day. Uh, switching from one bait to the next uh, was the key for us as far as success in landing some fish. Chasing the squid back here. Chasing it. Look at it, fired up now, got him. Nice one. Yep, and I just kept spanking it. Kept twitching it until he get him fired up. Yeah, just cut that, cut a squid off and 
take the tentacles After spending some time on this pot and several others, we decided to head back in and, uh, and do some trolling on the way uh, as we were going to go right by Shark River Reef, which had some uh, reports of some mackerel and bonita, and we were lucky enough to actually pick up some bluefish and Spanish mackerel on the way in. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the show. If you do, please remember to hit the subscribe button. It lets me know how I'm doing and uh, give me a thumbs up. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.